Yuhu! Okay, alright. So, uh, this this might be the last part of this video before you have your midterm exam. Yeah, uh, only for this year. Yeah? Only for 2019-20. Alright. So, uh, I dedicate this 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 one video just for constructor. Okay, just to discuss about constructor. Okay. Uh, the term constructor will be very new to you, okay, but it is not something That difficult, okay, it is just it is a it is it is quite a concept, but uh, I think you can grasp it uh, Pretty easily. Okay. Remember one thing uh, When we talk about constructor, okay Constructor you have to remember number one constructor works like a function Okay number two even though it works like a function it doesn't have a return value okay and number three a constructor the name of the constructor like a function name okay the name is the same as the name of the class okay and normally the constructor we put it uh, under public access because we use it out of the class okay right so can you remember the four things okay the uh, number one is that uh, uh, a constructor uh, works like a function. Secondly, uh, it doesn't have a return value. Uh, number three, the, f the constructor will have a function name that is similar to the class name, right? And number four, we place the constructor in uh, public access. You can have more than one constructor and we call it constructor overloading, just like function overloading, okay? All right, so, Let's create a constructor in this code, okay? So first of all, right? In public, I'm going to create a constructor. Remember, a constructor doesn't have any return value. Therefore, not even a void, okay? Normally, you create a function like this, right? Void, then you have proc2, blah, blah, blah. And then you have the body, okay? Right, for constructor, you don't even have void. There's no return value. The name of the the function name of the constructor. I mean, I mean, there's other terms, but I call it function name. For the constructor, is exactly the same as the class name, right? And it works like a function, right? See how it works like a function. And normally, how do we use the constructor? Okay, we already have the predefined information uh, from main, and therefore. Okay, we will use the constructor. And with that, I'm gonna disable the get info function first to see to, to let you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So this is class start. So I'm gonna remove start one dot get info. Okay, so when you have a constructor, okay, normally what you do is that when you create the object start one, okay, it follow it it, it, it follows by a bracket just like the constructor and let's say in the constructor I'm gonna like accept string n okay float q <clears throat> float mt and uh, integer a which represents uh, the name uh, I mean a name a, a float value of quiz a float value of midterm and a float value of a. You have to remember that n, q, m, t, and a is not these. Yeah, they are. They are just variables that are created in the constructor, right? And what do we do here? Okay, we will have then the value of n to be stored into name, and then we have the value of n to be stored into quiz. We have the value of uh, empty right here empty to be stored uh, in midterm and lastly we will have sorry we will have the value of uh, a to be stored into h and therefore the constructor will then captures all the value okay upon object creation why do I say upon object creation it is because it is sent through the project creation where we create the, uh, the the object sorry not project object okay so here i'm going to send over john 
right? Corresponds with N, right? The second one, the quiz marks, 12. The third is the midterm marks, which is 45. And the age is 21, right? And this being float, I can always do this if I want to and not for integer. And you know that John will give uh, will, will be transferred, will be copied and pasted into N. 12.00 will be copied and pasted into Q. 45.00 will be copied and pasted into MT. And 21 will be copied and pasted into A. And the constructor here will then, okay, store the value of N, which is John, into name. The value of, uh, sorry, Q, okay, into quiz. MT into midterm and A into H. Okay. And besides that, I, the constructor can also do some other things like, like normally what a function can do. Okay. So I can write here constructor has defined all identifiers or all data members. Okay. Old school backslash N, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, in this case, right, once I create the object, I will straight away send over four values, which will be captured by the four parameters. And then from here, I'm going to store the value into name, which is this guy, quiz, this guy, midterm, this guy, and age, this guy. So, let's run this program and uh, see if uh, it works. Okay, see, the constructor has defined all data members and the output is John 21 and the value, uh, oh, there's some error here. So let's see, what is the error? So we have uh, H, 21 is no problem. And the total is the problem here. Okay, start one of display. And the display is being called. Ah, I see. All right. So I'll come back to the previous function. Remember the function display, right? Uh, I forgot to tell you that you have to call the function calculate first. Right here. I'm very sorry. Okay. So remember that uh, we, we used to have the function call calculate here, where the function calculate will return the total here, right? And since now we have changed calculate to no return value, which is void, where we don't have to return the total, we haven't called a function yet previously in the previous example. So we call a function calculate here, right? And so that it will activate this function to calculate and have the value for total. This is the reason of, uh, uh, sorry, this is the reason why it gives you garbage value because total at the time has no values yet, okay? right and we have to call a function in order for it to work okay so in that sense uh, I hope you understand that this is a constructor right so whenever you have a constructor like this this is a constructor it is compulsory that when you create an object you have to send it the the values over as according to the parameter of the constructor and is in this case we have four parameters and therefore I'll have to send four accordingly. The first one has to be string, second one has to be float, the third one has to be float, and the fourth one has to be integer. Okay, all right, and uh, this is what we call constructor, okay? Uh, we'll move on to the next uh, video after this, where we will see how it can be implemented properly, where we will adapt this into the program, okay? All right, see you in the next video.